Welcome to another Falcon 4 BMS tutorial. This is going to be a short video focusing on the radar warning receiver, also known as the RWR or RAW. The RWR is a passive radar sensor that detects incoming radar emissions onto your aircraft with full 360 degree security. And that allows you to know when a radar source is pinging your aircraft or might be nearby. And then it also not only will show you the azimuth to the threat or the contact, it will also uh, classify that contact along threat level or lethality. So the RWR is on the left side of your cockpit. It's this guy right here and it's always on and always reliable. Now the anatomy of the RWR is as follows. You have three rings. The outer ring implies no lethality of, from the contact. The inner ring means the contact is within lethal range and the innermost ring is just the immediate area around your aircraft and if the contact is there then you are momentarily away from exploding. It, it really doesn't come in handy unless you're talking about evading active missiles and then you'll be able to track if it's about to touch your aircraft or not. So there's one important thing to note here and that is is that these rings do not equate to range they equate to the threat level or lethality of the system. So, for instance, an SA-2 within lethal might be 10 or 15 miles away, but an SA-10 within lethal is still geographically going to be 50 miles away. So you need to realize that, and I'm going to emphasize this again, it does not equal, it does not tell you the range. It can tell you the relative range based on the system, but it doesn't give you exact ranges at all. What it does give exact measurements to is the azimuth of the contact. So for instance I know that in this example I have a MiG-29 to my 12 o'clock and the RWR can be considered to be a, a God's eye or bird's eye view on your aircraft. So your aircraft is pointing this way and then we have the uh, cardinal and uh, clock direction surrounding it. Now, the symbology for the RWR is varied. If you see a number just by itself, that's a SAM system. If you see a number with a uh, carrot or wedge on top of it, that's an aircraft. So, I currently have a MiG-29 on my RWR. And we can see the 29 here. And then above it, there's a wedge or carrot symbol. That signifies that it's an aircraft. Another symbol that is prominent on the RWR is diamonds. And a diamond a diamond signifies the highest threat or the largest, uh, most significant threat. So if there were multiple contacts on here, let's say there was a few more 29s behind this one, they wouldn't have a diamond on them, they would just appear as 29s. And this one, the foremost one, would appear with the diamond because he's closest to me. And the radar emission is the strongest from that particular contact. Um, there's some other symbols as well, and I'm going to try to post a picture of the symbols into the video. Um, for, for instance, a P is a Patriot um, SAM system, a C is a Chaparral, um, A, Alpha, is a AAA. S is a search radar, um, U is unknown, a little symbol of a boat which looks like uh, this is uh, a maritime uh, contact with a radar on it and when a contact has a circle surrounding it that means that it's actively launching on you so if you see like a 2 and has a flashing circle around it, that means that it is firing on you. Um, 
and th I mean, this RWR is absolutely critical for uh, situational awareness and survivability. Not only do you use it for defense and, and combat, but you also use it for general navigation. For instance, you can sort of judge where your wingmen are just by having their 16 spikes, you know, behind you or in front of you or whatever. You can sort of get an idea for where they are. And, um... That's pretty much it with the symbology. And uh, now we're just going to go over some specific instances of symbology. So as we see here, we've already gone over this one. It's a MiG-29. Now one other feature of the RWR is that it tracks active missiles, incoming active missiles. What is an active missile? It's a radar-guided missile that is semi-actively tracking your aircraft and bombarding it with hundreds of pings a moment or a second. Okay. And those missiles were, those uh, symbols will appear as M's on your RWR. And as soon as you see an M, you should immediately go defensive, drop all your, uh, you know, do an emergency jettison, do a split S, and burn. Because if you see an M, then you're having an adder fired at you, which is the Russian equivalent of the AIM RAM. It actually has a longer range than the AIM RAM. And some say it actually has a higher uh, probability of kill. The only thing, the only downside of the of the Amramsky, as it's known, or the Adder R60, is that um, the the firer needs to be constantly locking onto you the entire attack. And if the radar ever breaks, then uh, the missile loses all guidance unless it's within a semi-active range. So that's an important note. Um, so next we're going to go over some SAMs. At this point I'm approaching some air defenses, uh, specifically an SA-4. And what you usually will see when you're approaching a SAM is that it will scan you with its search radar, which will usually just be, you know, you'll see the number flash on your RWR for a moment, and then it will go away. Um, and then when you get closer, it will start soft locking you, which means it's actively pinging you. And then when it's about to fire, it will stay on the RWR permanently, turn into a diamond, and then uh, you'll you might get a launch warning. And we're going to go over all the buttons next to the RWR in a moment. For now, I just want to show you the symbology for what will appear on the RWR when you are in contact with radar emissions. Passing within lethal now, this SA-4, shoot it, there's the search radar, keep watching, there's a the search radar again, now I know that the radar operator knows where I am, he's tracking me, and he's probably going to fire at me if I continue on this course. See here that at this point, at this point, the SA-4 is outside of lethal. Once it passes this line, then it becomes a serious threat. I mean, I am within its maximum range at this point. He could fire at me, but the chance of it being lethal is very low. And what this RWR basically is telling me is that I could defeat this missile if it were to fire at me at this point. Now, once it goes inside that circle, the inner circle, then it's anybody's ball game and it, you could defeat it or it might turn out to be lethal. I'm approaching the center now. As soon as it turns into lethal it'll probably fire on me.
Now we see the SA-4 is firing. Note how there's a flashing circle around the four. Note how the launch indicator on the left side of the RWR has lit up. This is typical of what you'll experience when you're dealing with SAMs. Now we'll see what an actively guided radar missile appears as on the RWR. I'm going to merge with the MiG-29SM, which carries Adder missiles, very deadly uh, active radar missiles. Once we get about five miles closer, he's going to start hard locking me, and then he'll fire on me. Wait for it. Now we see that he's fired a active radar missile at me. The threat diamond has transferred from the MiG-29 to the missile. The missile is now actively tracked. It's on the nose within lethal. And the launch indicator is also transferred from the MiG-29 to the missile. And as we'll see, it has a very distinctive tone. I'm probably going to die because we're only within about 11 miles. There's not really any way for me to evade this. but. Uh, I'm going to try to evade it just so you guys can hear the tone. Chaff flare. Chaff flare. Chaff flare. Chaff flare. Warning, warning. Warning, warning. The last thing we're going to go over are the RWR buttons and the more advanced uh, customization features of the RWR. So, on the left side of the RWR, we have a handoff button. And what that does is it will simply bypass the highest threat, take the diamond off of it, and it will uh, look for the next highest threat. It's useful if you're getting pinged and there's just an incessant tone that will never stop and you already know that the target's there. Um, the next thing is the mode button. If you click mode, it will switch between all, all threats and only priority threats. So you can put it on priority and it will only show the highest threats. Then we have uh, this button here where it says target step. This is for decluttering the screen. And like if there's a bunch of symbols on top of each other, you can declutter the screen by pressing that and they'll send it to the edges of the, uh, of the RWR for a moment so you can actually see what's in the area. Um, if you turn this button on, it will display unknown and it will display uh, naval contacts. And if you if you left click it, it will display unknown. If you right click it, it will also show naval contacts. Um, another, the, there's some more buttons of the RWR that relate to the RWR, but they're not in this immediate area. They're down here under your ECM panel, or to the left of your ECM panel. Um, one thing that you should know about on the ECM panel itself is just this switch, which is to turn the RWR on. Another really important section of buttons is uh, these these four buttons here this button uh, correction this button right here system power will power the RWR on and off this button right here will only show low altitude threats if you click it on where it's altitude if you click this search button then it will show search radars on the RWR which it does not by default so if we fly around now, there should be some search radars here because there's a moving mud instant action. Oh well, well, what you would have on your screen is you'd have, you'd see a bunch of S's which are search radars. And normally, oh there's one. Normally they're, they're so numerous that they clutter the screen and by default they're off. So those are the major buttons and functions of the RWR. Just one final note before I end this video is that use the RWR. You know, the first thing you should use is your eyes, the second thing you should use is the RWR, the third thing you should use is your FCR. The RWR will save your ass if you use it correctly and very carefully read it. You know, always glance down whenever you're flying to the RWR, see what's going on.
because you can really preempt yourself from being ambushed if, you, if you're very careful. Unlike the FCR, the RWR does not have gimbal limits, so it can see 360 degrees around your aircraft, and then you can use that in conjunction with the FCR to execute really good attacks and effective defenses of weapon systems. So I hope this was useful. Uh, please let me know in the comments.